Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about clinoid fracture imaging. Clinoid fracture or fracture of the clinoid and compass a wide range of morphology from clinoid ring fracture after a shoulder dislocation to multiple fragmentary clinoid fossa fracture of the Picture involved the clinoid comprise up to 29% of all scapular fracture. Picture occur mostly, most commonly in young males. There is a four time higher insulin in men, and the average age at time of injury is 35 years. The spectrum of injury pattern exists for clinoid fracture range from low energy instability even to high energy traumatic event. Common mechanism for shoulder dislocation with a clinoid fracture includes sport injury like skiing, snowboarding, football, and hockey, more commonly cited. Motor he called accident, fall, and seizure. Another culprit in clinoid rim fracture include iatrogenic fracture through suture and hole in the clinoid rim after lacra repair. Most fracture that enter the clinoid fossa occur secondary to high energy mechanism and require a large geo force. The mechanism for clinoid fossa fracture is type of lead a direct load of the humeral head on the clinoid fossa, causing a fracture in the fossa and propagation in the scapular neck or body. Additionally, high energy clinoid fossa fracture are associated with as high as 88 percent additional injury with rib and clavicle fracture being the most common in 40 percent to and 15 percent uh, and sorry 17 percent of cases representatively respectively this is the classification of the clinoid fracture by Edibab, One A is anterior clinoid rim fracture. One B is portary clinoid rim fracture. Two is clinoid osa fracture with inferior neck or body extension. Three, clinoid fossa fracture with superior neck body extension. Four, clinoid fossa fracture with medial body extension. Five, a clinoid fossa fracture with medial and inferior extension plus one plus four. Now, two plus four plus time. 5B is clinoid fossa fracture with major and superior extension. 5C is clinoid fossa fracture with major inferior superior extension. 6 is clinoid fossa fracture with severe commutation. What's an example of the Clinoid fracture A is AP and B is axillary radiograph of the of a 16, 61 years old female who sustained an anterior clinoid rim fracture after shoulder dislocation. As we can see, the fracture fragment with the mm -hmm. 
Lucency, Lion, Fragile, with this place. This is a 3D reconstruction view of the clinical picture and give a global view of the picture pattern. So as we can see here, a fragmentation with multi-place and a fracture line here. And on this image also we can see here the fracture line and with well, fracture Pregnant fracture, picture pigmentation. And this is axial CT image demonstrating a well centered humor head on the clinical axis of the entry clinical fracture. This one, entry clinical fracture. And this is Overhead. Image A, two A's, H-ray combined clenoid and scapular capture. So this area. And image two B, So the post-operative AP and axial X-ray of the posterior tenoid screw fixation. As you can see here, so it's the fixation with two nails right here. And image 2C is a CT combined tenoid and scapular fracture. As you can see here, this little picture, this couple of picture one here. Another example, picture of the entric clinoid. Basic joint, also arthritis, the management is normal. As you can see, yes, it's a presentation of the enteric clinoids. And we can see a directional margin of the clinoids with a little bit scleral, the upper, which is indicated for also arthritis. Fracture of anterior inferior clinoid fossa. Minimal is first fracture through the tip of the coracoid cloid size also. As you can see here, so this is the anterior inferior clinoid post fracture and this is very subtle coracoid process fracture and this is the uh, algorithm for treatment of the clinoid picture so if just a person less than two less than five millimeter and step of fracture so, conservative, if not stable. So, we have to operation to stop light. Rim of fossa fracture, centric head portion. If no manipulation fracture and fixation. If yes, we have to see the sign. So if the sign is more than 21% anterior or more than 33% posterior, 
If no, conservative. If yes, so we have to see the displacement. If more than 20, if more than 5, if yes, and fracture fixation, but if no, conservative again. Commuted posa fracture, centric head portion, no. Manipulation, if yes, conservative. Combined clinoid and scapular fracture. Clinoid fracture require operation. Yes, consider combined operative treatment. If no, scapular fracture require operation. If yes, operation. If no, conservative. Thank you.